um, some uh, veggies that will give some nice uh, color and nutrition to the rice this is optional it's peas carrot and corn uh, and for the seasoning uh, these are the ingredients uh, um, I, I'm going to season with coconut oil this is uh, organic co coconut oil uh, I have some mustard seeds uh, red gram dal um, urad dal some peanuts red chili ginger curry leaf uh, I also have uh, turmeric powder some asafoetida black pepper powder uh, and then I have salt and some lemon juice so the all these will be the seasoning for the uh, grated uh, cauliflower lemon rice so now we'll start uh, preparing our cauliflower lemon rice so for that uh, heat up the pan and add uh, some coconut oil now my oil is hot I'm going to add uh, my seasonings mustard seeds when the mustard seeds start to splutter I will add the rest of my ingredients into this goes my dals the red gram dal and the urad dal then goes my peanuts and red chili and uh, curry leaves saute this nicely then goes the ginger when all these are sorted well I'm going to add my veggies add my spices the black pepper powder turmeric powder and asafoetida all goes in i will add some salt and some lemon juice and in goes the cauliflower rice Uh, this will just take a uh, couple of minutes mix everything well the cauliflower lemon rice is all ready today i am planning to try eggplant saute mediterranean style so i have some cut eggplant here uh, there is onion green capsicum uh, and tomatoes that will be added uh, to the saute um, and I'll be using butter to saute all this. Uh, some of the spices that I'll use are uh, garlic, paprika powder, uh, herbs powder. So it has basil, oregano, all dried. Um, then lemon and uh, black pepper powder. You can also use lemon juice in uh, instead. Uh, and I had some... Uh, Mediterranean spice powder so I, I'm going to use that also so we will start making the uh, eggplant curry I'm going to add uh, two butter cubes to it first and these butter cubes melt I will be adding the onions and, salt, and uh, green peppers and sauteing it. So onion and green peppers go inside. And just nicely saute this till they become a little translucent in color
Now in goes the eggplant that I have chopped and kept. And along with this, I will add all my spices. Um, first I will add uh, the garlic and saute this. some salt and in goes all the spices mix it nicely and cover it with a lid and cook for four to five minutes you can see that the vegetables are all cooked nicely now into this I will add my tomatoes and some little water Keep it for cooking. Close this and keep it for cooking for uh, 15 to 20 minutes in uh, low to medium flame. My eggplant curry is cooking. I'm just going to open it and give it a nice stir. You can see that the vegetables are cooking really well. Um, I'm just going to see if my eggplants have cooked well. Yes, they have. So I'm just going to cook it a little bit more, keeping it closed, uh, another you know five to ten minutes, and then it should be ready. So after ten minutes, I'm just going to open and see if my eggplant curry is all cooked. Um, it looks like it has all cooked. Now I'll turn my heat off and just close and keep it for five ten minutes before I transfer it to. A bowl uh, because the pan will have its heat and it will it retains the heat and uh, a little bit more of cooking can be done <coughs> and our eggplant curry is so here you can see that I've transferred my um, eggplant curry into a bowl um, and it looks awesome I'm just going to season it with coriander leaves you can also use parsley if you have I didn't have parsley so I'm using coriander leaves so now my cauliflower lemon rice and my eggplant curry are ready now I'm going to make a, a salad um, which will have chickpeas edamame some cucumbers grated some uh, almonds, strawberries, uh, garlic salt, paprika, coriander leaves and olive oil. So this salad is going to be a little different. Uh, let's just uh, see how I do it. So my pan is heating. I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil and then add my almonds. Um, lightly toast it. You can add other nuts also, it should be your choice. I'm just adding almonds to this now. So once the almonds are lightly toasted, I'm going to add my chickpeas. Um, this is actually canned chickpeas. Uh, so I just drain the water out nicely. And I'm going to just take away all the moisture from this by heating it up. And in goes my edamame also. So these are frozen edamame. So I'm just sauteing it because there is some moisture sitting there in the chickpeas and edamame. So I just want it to be gone. Now you can see that all the moisture, everything is gone. 
from the chickpeas, the edamame and the almonds are nicely toasted. I'm just going to shut my uh, heat off and keep it for cooling. So now <clears throat> my chickpeas, edamame and uh, badam mixture is all cooled down. Now I'm just going to add the rest of the ingredients into it and just give it a toss. And it's going to be all ready. It has a beautiful color. It will also have a sweet, sour and a little spicy taste to it. Uh, you can also add lemon juice if you would like to. I am not going to add it. Um, it's your choice. It will be nice if you want to add lemon juice. And in the end, I'll just add some olive oil to give it a nice taste and smell. So, my salad is all ready. And I'm just going to transfer it into a bowl.